Pakistan's JF-17 Block 3 fighter surfaces with deadly upgrades. German expert compares with India's LCA Tejas and it poses threat to Indian Dassault Rafale too. Recent pictures and reports about the Pakistan Air Force JF-17 Thunder single-engine fighter indicates that its Block 3 version is progressing rapidly and could join the service soon. A photo of a pilot wearing an advanced helmet mountain display HMD claimed to be from inside a JF-17 Block 3 went around on social media. Also, another report about the jet being further upgraded also interested observers. Reported to share some of the technology from China's J-20 Mighty Dragon. The JF-17 is expected to replace the Pakistan's Air Force aging fleet of Chengdu F-7 and Dassault Mirage 5. The JF-17 Thunder is a medium-sized multi-role fighter plane developed jointly by China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation and Pakistan Aeronautical Complex. The service has inducted more than 100 Thunder jets since 2007. A photo of a pilot inside the cockpit of a JF-17 Block 3 wearing a helmet mounted display similar to the one J-20 pilots have been shown wearing in leaked images and official pictures and videos in the first indication of the rapid evolution of the jet. An HMD beams all vital flight information that is usually shown on the screen and displaced directly on the visors in the cockpit. This reduces the stress of flying and allows the pilot to focus more on the combat components of the mission. It is also one of the major systems a plane must possess to be counted in 4.5 generation category. Many social media discussion forums have claimed increased use of carbon fiber composites in the newer variants which reduces the aircraft's weight. A report in Pakistan's Express Tribune, an unmanned official of the Pakistan saying further upgradation of the jet is in progress. The report came from the recently concluded International Defense Exhibition and Seminar 2022 in Karachi. The first images of the first batch of the JF-17 Block 3 in serial production paint scheme fresh up the assembly line surfaced on the web in January this year. The photos showed seven JF-17s outside the PAC facility in camera. The JF-17 Block 3 is thought to have taken to the skies for the first time in December 2019. The PL-10E, which China describes as its most advanced short-range air-to-air missile, was also spotted being carried out by JF-17 Block 3. The aircraft is equipped with KLJ-7A airborne actively electronically scanned array radar and fire control radar. There were previous reports that the JF-17 is poised to get some of the technology, avionics and electronics used on the J-20. It is surely a threat to Indian LCA Tejas. Asked whether the JF-17 Block 3 is on path with India's light combat aircraft LCA Tejas, Andres Raprich, a Germany-based Chinese military aviation expert, wondered if the Tejas can match the Thunder. Raprich pointed to the Chinese-Pakistani aircraft multiple upgrades over the years and operational deployment that have made it very capable. He admits that all the JF-17 lacks though, they are almost a hundred in service already for years with vast operational experience and even wartime operations while the Tejas is still only available in limited numbers. So yes, the older ones are technically not on par but not as bad as some Indians want to make it look. It is available in much larger quantities. If all goes well, the C model will be in service with better avionics, weapons and AESA long before the first AESA equipped Tejas reach its frontline unit. This is not to speak of Mark II, Raprech said. Military aviation experts said even after delivering, the jets take time to be integrated into the fleet since it takes time to develop tactics and operational procedures.
The JL17 has been operated for so long and the latest variant will have been fully flown and tactics developed by the time the LCA MK1 reaches IAF units. The LCA MK2 is said to be a whole other aircraft with very little borrowed from the LCA MK1 variants. It is expected to make its maiden flight by 2024 and begin serial production only by 2027.